Hey you guys, it's Ron Trudon with another video on Wiccan Ritual Tools and this video is dedicated to incense. So there are three main types of incense and these are powder incense and stick incense and cone incense. Now most commonly I use stick incense because uh, it's quite useful in the sense that um, once you're done with it, even if you're not burned through the, the whole stick, you can just like tap it out and relight the stick again. Um, this is not so easy to do if you're using uh, cone incense or powder incense, which you kind of have to use all of it in one go. So uh, for the more economically minded witch, um, stick incense can be a good option. Uh, this is my incense. I keep it in like a little incense burner that's also like a box. So it's, you know, convenient to just like close the lid and, you know, let it burn. And um, I don't really have any experience with cone incense. I don't use it, um, but, you know, people who swear by it, they like it a lot. Um, powder incense is a lot of fun, and I get to use it uh, upon occasion, but um, it's a little complicated because it's not the kind of thing that you can do indoors. Now, um, how powder incense works would be basically that you... Uh, buy or, or grind herbs yourself and you would put them in a sensor or a cauldron or some sort of fireproof container and then you would use these uh, quick burning charcoal tabs which look like this they're made specifically for incense and uh, don't get the ones that are for like a grill because that's not gonna work um, you want the, like the quick burning kind and you know that's the right kind because like the second you light it it basically like you know, the, the heat quickly circulates to the whole tab. Um, it's often good to just like break the tabs as well, not to burn the whole one, uh, unless you plan on doing a really long ritual. So breaking them in half or breaking them in fourths uh, is a good way to conserve your resources in that respect. Um, the only problem is, is that when you burn anything with the quick burning char charcoal tabs, um, it tends to get a little smoky which when you're outdoors is great, but you know, when you're indoors, that can be a serious problem with the smoke alarms. So I definitely recommend only using the um, quick burning tabs when you are outside. <laughs> um, but stick incense is perfectly fine. You know, there's no one that's better than all the others. Um, and when you're using incense uh, ritually, you would be using it for several purposes. Um, one would be to clear the air of uh, negative negativity, um, which would be good for like a clearing incense. I have a whole bunch of sticks of frankincense and myrrh, which is a good clearing incense. And I use it for everything because uh, that scent represents also spirituality. So it's good for any spell. Um, but there are definitely different incense uh, types and scents that correspond to different spell work. So keep that in mind if you want to use it in that way to enhance your spell work. Um, but overall, incense represents air in the circle. Um, and air represents, you know, like the gods. So while you're uh, using it, you know, the incense, uh, you clear the uh, circle and then you also seal the circle um, by bringing the incense around it. You bring the four elements around and incense is usually used to represent air. So those are the basic uh, uses of incense and how it works in Wicca. And um, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys soon. Blessed be.